Hey, welcome back to Boss Talk 843 Reacts, the place that's gonna get you the best dang reaction every single dang time. And today we're gonna to continue watching the Kendra G Singles Only um, internet show that she does on YouTube, I think um, Instagram and um, whatever. So, you know, you guys know it's a dating show and um, it's kind of what I'm into right now and it's um, extremely funny with these people looking for love. So I got a couple of clips for you guys today to check out and hope you get some laughs like I did. And I want you guys to enjoy the show and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that ding ding bell button for your boy so you get all the newest notifications when I drop new videos. So let's get on with that first video. Here we go. What kind of man you looking for, boo? Let's say a uh, a good man that has money and no wife currently because I I've been dealing with some some shisty motherfuckers in Atlanta. Hey, didn't mean to stop the video, but uh, I'm going to give y'all a warning on this one. Did you hear how she started that off? And this has been, has been one of the most entertaining um, guests I've seen on the Kendra G Live show. So you guys are going to enjoy this. But just from the start, you know, you're about to get you some laughs. So let's get back to that video, all right? She's crazy. That have wives or girlfriends or baby mamas that still live with them, I most recently was I, I went with him but apparently he didn't go with me back and I had a conference call with his baby mama and another bitch that he had been fucking with for two years and so what had happened was I thought I was I was his girlfriend but like I was actually like the new bitch on the block and he had a baby mama that was with him for five years the questions are complicated in this world, but the answers are simple. And then he also had a girl that was fucking with him for two years. And I had just started fucking with him. And they conference called me like, hey, uh, we just trying to find out what you're. And I'm like, this y'all motherfucking problem. Anyway, I just want a man that ain't got another motherfucking woman that, that want me and just me by myself with him and it's me and him and i like him and he like me and then i got my own car i got my own house i got good credit my credit score over 700 man it's really over 750 like i really got like my shit together i have one nigga that got his shit together too and we can we can do this shit for real like i i i'm i used to be like one of the women that don't need him i don't need a man i don't need a man I need man, but bitch, I got a motherfucking hole in my ceiling still. I was trying to do some real hot girl shit, and I had, I, I, I ain't no shit about no goddamn stud finder. I had bought one of them poles, you, you do pole shit at home, and then I didn't know you were supposed to have a stud finder or some shit, and then I was trying to do some shit, and then I had put a hole in my ceiling, and that shit been there for almost a year now. So I've been preparing. I thought I was gonna have to go to war with niggas. But I've been waiting for this challenge. It's in the back. I ain't got no man. So I need a fucking man that got hands. That can put hands on this on this house and put hands on this body and do some shit that I can't do. Do you have any deal breakers for this man? You said no other women, right? No other, no other women, and uh, I'm not fight. I can't fight. Like I, I can, I can hold my own, but I can't fight. Like I'm slow. Like I'm. Why you got? Why, wait, why you got to know how to fight? Because nowadays in Atlanta, when you're trying to date, you might be on a date with somebody, and somebody come up to you while you on a date and grab you by the hair. Oh no. And, and and try to fight you because you on a date with somebody husband you don't even know you ain't even know you might be just be hanging out and then all of a sudden you get grabbed by your hair because you out with my man you know what i'm saying type stuff like that and then i'm i just i can't fight i can't fight so please don't put me in a situation where i gotta call the police on you and your wife okay because I'm calling the police. I'm not. I can't fight. I'm going to call the police on y'all. 
just so you know. That's all. And that's just that. That's just that. That's Ooh, just Misha, you mentioned he has got he has to have money. How much money does he have to have? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> okay, so like not like I mean, like millionaire status would be like ideal. I ain't I ain't like, you know, I ain't no millionaire, <laughs> obviously, you know. But like uh at least I made about at almost hundred thousand, so he he gotta at least make that. That would be ideal because I can take care of myself. Then you can take care of yourself, and then I will put mine in with yours, and then we good. It, everything go together like that. You know what I'm saying? So you said a millionaire would be ideal, but you'll settle for a hundred k. Okay, listen, a millionaire would be like me. Throwing it out there, like if a millionaire want to fuck with me, that's cool. He probably got more bills than anything. Honestly, any any millionaire is really probably a really hundred thousandaire, in my opinion. Because if you're a millionaire, you got millionaire bills. I might as well fuck with the nigga that's, that's making a hundred thousand, and he he probably not spending as much. Let me just fuck with the hundred hundred thousand nigga like me, and we we cool together. That way, your expectations is I I would I would like to be a millionaire too, but I don't want them kind of responsibilities. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. I mean, I, Kendra, you know what I'm saying? Cause you probably be fucking with millionaires and shit, and I them niggas be having expectations. Nigga, I'ma eat them chicken. I'ma eat them chicken wings. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig the shit out my fingers with my teeth. Seriously, ma. <laughs> you, you gonna expect me to put the chicken wing down, and I'm not gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's that's all I'm saying. I want the nigga that's like a hundred thousand there, like me, that came from like his mama probably eat them chicken wings just like me, and he ain't gonna be tripping. The nigga that's a millionaire, mama probably grew up different than my family and then we we not going to see eye to eye on the way i eat my chicken wings <sighs> that don't make sense to you come on now Kent. okay you know what i i could i would try but you won't see eye to eye because you be fucking with the millionaires and then but i know because i try to fuck no with no what i'm saying is about because you could be a millionaire and Jay-Z came from the hood and he's a billionaire, right? So, I mean, just because you're a millionaire doesn't mean you didn't come from the hood. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't but agree. But they be, they be acting like you can't eat your chicken wings different. So, okay, so you want a man that is going to allow you to lick your fingers after you eat your chicken wings. Let me lick my fingers. I lick your fingers too. Seriously, ma. <laughs> like, we... You know what I'm saying? Like, let me let me eat my chicken wings. Let me go up to the the the, the upper salon restaurants and say, "Do y'all have chicken wings here?" And it ain't no fucking problem because they you when you say, "Do y'all have chicken wings here?" They be like, I be like, but I like chicken wings. The, I'ma order the fucking chicken wings and try them out. You know what I'm saying? So you only want to go to restaurants that have chicken wings? Fuck no. Now, let's make that clear. I'm sorry, Kendra. I didn't even mean to cuss at you like that. But wait a minute now. I'm not a chicken wings and fries. We don't go on dates. Okay? Because <laughs> I want to be taken on dates. I'm just saying, every now and again, when you take me on the dates out of town, out of country, especially out of, it, it, I got my passport. I want to go out of country. I want to try chicken wings outside of Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I was born and raised in Atlanta. We got the best chicken wings. I don't care what nobody say. We got the best chicken wings in Atlanta. And I want to try some, try some chicken wings in Amsterdam with some weed on it. I don't even like weed. I don't even smoke weed. But I want to try some chicken wing weed, weed wings. I want to try them. Is that too much to ask for? So you want a man to fly you to Amsterdam for some chicken wings? Pa? 
Possibly. If that's not too much to ask. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I really, I really enjoyed that, uh, that interview there. She had me cracking up the first time I saw that one there. But hey, the next one I have is these two people um, that called the show that was waiting to get picked and got picked and forgot the cameras on. And watch what goes on here and see if this doesn't make you laugh, all right? Here we go. Hello? 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 That was a halfway ass smiling girl. Right? No. Still six is foot. How do you pronounce your last name? Though? Say it. Hmm? Say it. Lipscomb? Yeah. And this one was smiling too. I said it right? Yeah. Lipscomb. Cool big ass Kool Aid smile. Yeah, let's take it off tickets. That's what I need a little bit though. This it don't here. take much. It don't take me like a week to get in the mail. Clean up your lap. That's it. Yeah, I don't get that. See, I got one in Conyers. This in Conyers. This one, see, that's where I lived it in Conyers. And this one in the stock bridge. And for it out. What's y'all what doing? We in your car. What y'all doing? We can hear you. We can hear you. We can hear you. We can hear you. So you gonna sit there and listen to it, bitch? She's stupid. Hello? You call me? What the hell? I don't know y'all. Y'all call me. The ears just look like mom. When they take them wigs off, they should be looking just like this. Hello? <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Did we hear the pants unzipping? First things first. Bitch, you call me. I don't know, y'all. Do y'all know I just sit here and accept people? So if you about to get somebody head in the car, maybe it ain't a good idea to call my damn show. I don't know. If you want to have a freaky night, do what you want to do. But why the fuck you want to call me and then get mad at me? I'm nosy as hell. You're damn right I'm nosy as hell. I'm going to listen. Because I want to know what the hell is happening. So here's a PSA announcement. If you want to go down on a man, don't call me. Just do what you want to do. You involved us. I don't know, y'all. And you did right. I answered the phone and I was listening. Sure was. Sure was because I'm nosy as hell. Everybody know I'm nosy as hell. Everybody know that. So... If you want to get somebody fellatio, that's your business. But keep it your business. You the one that called me up. I don't got your number. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Y'all heard of the pen sunset? <laughs> yep, I heard the pants unzipping. And then how you get mad when y'all called in sitting in the queue and y'all ain't about to get busy because I did hear the pants zip up or zip down, whatever it was, and y'all got mad when y'all got busted. <laughs> hey, man, let's get over this next video here. Yeah, that's another funny one there. <laughs> Can you see? Ooh, you see them breasts, girl? What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so yeah. We start off the nipples. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. you had a nice you had a nice body. Thanks. Um, what was your last relationship? Um, my last real relationship um was about a year ago. He passed away. Two men you dated passed away? 
Yes. Oh my God. God. Yes, yes. Well, yeah, I used to date Conda, like, had a little fling with a celebrity as well, so. Seriously, Ma. <laughs> he passed away no. too? Mm -mm. Who the celebrity? You don't, you don't, now we want to know. Is that, is young that boy. blue face? No, oh, young boy. Young boy. Oh, no. Hold on. Let me see this tattoo again. Uh, you have young boy on your arm. You used to date him? Hmm? How long did you date to get his whole face on your arm? <laughs> I actually got it before we had something going on. So, what did y'all have going on? It's just... Oh, here now. Now hold on. Let's 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 category. Let's let's put it in the right category. Was it dates? Was it sex? Was it a fan moment? Those are all three. It was sex. It was it was sex. It was. Just the questions are complicated in this world, but the answers are simple. The sex. Mm -hmm. So you said you used to date a celebrity. <sighs> it was cordial. Well, I, 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 I would pray it was cordial and consensual. I just want to right, know next, what was... Can we go to the next question? Girl, you brought it up. Why y'all be getting uh, mad at me? You know... I'm not mad. Y'all know I meet you in this I'm moment. I'm And I go I'm over the information that you I'm have to offer. You the one that offered it. And you the one that got his, I his hope. I was reading the comments. That was my bad. What made you get his whole face on your arm? I'm still trying to figure it out. You have any children, Jamal? Yes, I do. Five kids. I, I always know when somebody got a lot of kids because <laughs> I'll say, do you have any kids? And they'll just say yes. And they know I'm going to ask you how many. And they wait. It's a pause. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, know. I, got five. I got five. Yeah, I got five. How old are your kids? Well, my kids is five, seven, four, two, and three. Are they all about the same woman? Uh, no. Yes, no, it's not. How many women, Jamal? Five. five. So, who did the young people pick as their leader? NBA young boy. <laughs> Ooh, give me gas talking about that little boy. So you had, you have a two-year-old, a three. What, well, you have a two, three, four, five. So for four years, back to back, you had different women pregnant? Why? Yeah. Why, Jamal? Why? <sighs> it's a long story. Relationship problems. On your end? <laughs> no, their end. I was a good man. I'm, I'm a good man, so. Seriously, Ma? <laughs> but, but Jamal, was, do you think you had a different woman pregnant for four years straight? You have a two-year-old, a three-year-old, a four-year-old, a five-year-old. And I'm assuming these could overlap. Were ever two women pregnant at the same time? Sort of, kind of, yeah. You're 28. What kind of woman are you looking for now? No, I'm just looking for like just a woman that's loyal. I don't care about the looks. You know, as long as she's loyal. Do you think you're a loyal she's man loyal. yourself? I'm a, yeah, I'm a loyal man. Because I'm you know what I'm saying? I always treat my woman like that. Oh, I didn't hear what you say. I said you loyal for a year because it seems like every year you went to another woman. So you got a 365 day package to give out? Yeah, I do. And then I do. Have you ever been loyal past 365 days? Yeah, like four years. Basically. How four years? Loyal. You have five women. You have, when was you loyal to somebody for four years? At 14? <laughs> no, I was, uh, it's like, man, I was together for like four years after that situation or whatever. Bring the phone um, up. So your oh, last child was oh, seven. What, what, what years were you loyal to somebody for four years? Well, 2014. How old? No, tell me from, how old you were. I, I was 19, 19 years old. So from 19, was you was loyal to when? Till I was like at least 22. At least yeah, how old was you when you had your first child? I was 19. When you had your first child? Mm hmm You had your second child four years later? No, you have a seven and a five-year-old. No, uh, no, it's like, okay, 
Es la salsa. The questions are complicated in this world, but the answers are simple. Long story. Nah, it's only complicated when you don't tell the truth. Truth story. I'm telling the truth. Truth stories are easy to break down. Yeah, no, not not this. This as I said, it all happened. This is kind of. I can see your face again. You get, you get agitated. You get agitated. I oh got, no, no, I got, no. I got, I got, because I have certain questions that the yeah. guys got to be able to hold up to. Yeah. The math is yeah, right. as they would say. So you're telling me from 19 to 22, you was only with one woman. Like I was, well, yeah. But but the like, I, I, kids' age that you gave me that doesn't make that doesn't add up. No, okay. See, when my first daughter was born, I can break it down. I'm gonna break it down again. Okay, my first, I had my first daughter when I was 19. This is the 19, one that you 20. was loyal to. Yeah, okay. and that was my first daughter. You know what I'm saying? So, so when me and her split, I had met this other oh, lady. Oh yeah. Split That's, four years. Wait, wait. But when did you and her split? Four years later. Uh, about yeah, about four years. But later. your baby. We have split. But that, but that doesn't make sense because the seven year old and five year old. That's two years. Yeah. Later. The edges look like mom. When they take them wigs off, they should be looking good like this. Yeah, no, that's because like I was, we, we split up or whatever. We still so talking. Wasn't together we for four years straight then. Nah. So, I didn't say four years, okay, but we so still talking. The reason we're here is because you told me the longest you've been loyal to somebody is for four years. So yeah. is that not true then? It's true. That was the truth. It doesn't add up in, in numbers. It's because the, the the way it's broken down, it's like it's because I got a crazy life, and if I break it down, it's like it's gonna take a while. No, no, to break these are simple questions, though. If you if yeah. you're together at 19 and have a baby, and you have mm -hmm. another baby within four years, you wasn't loyal for four years to one person. Yeah, well, kind of. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. Let's continue. Yeah, right. what's the deal, Brian? Well, you know what I'm saying? She go to church. She got to believe in God. Put God first. You know what I mean? That's an e-slapper. <laughs> and she don't go out as much. You know, I don't like women that like to party, club hop, all that shit. I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I like to take women. And like, if we dating, I want to take you to a restaurant, myself, to Olive Garden, anywhere. But none of that club hopping stuff. I don't do clubs. None of that. Like, I don't like the club scenes like that. We got to see your face. No judgment, because none of us are perfect. But she has to be a church-going girl. Yeah. You go to church every Sunday? No, because I work a lot. I used to. Like, my pastor wanted me to come down, but not like that. I ain't never walk off my own show. I ain't <laughs> never walk away from my own show. I ain't never walk away from my own show. Hey, and I tell you guys one thing. The more and more I watch this show, the more I see this pattern on both sides, like you can have one dude, like him and one guy, five kids, five baby mamas, 28 years old, life is garbage, you know? If you're doing the right stuff and you your life is trash, you can't have no warehouse job and that kind of um, line up there. It ain't gonna work. Or you would just be one of them other statistics out there, you know, not taking care of your babies, bro. And that's pretty much what it, it it's always comes to. You know, women doing it on the other end too, man. It's like everybody just hunching and doing their thing and not even thinking about consequences. This new generation needs to get that part of life together. We're making all these kids with all these different people, man. So let's get on to this next video because he didn't make me laugh. He just made me sick. He made me sick. Then on a dating show looking for another woman to get number six and seven. Man, get out of here. I'm very, I, I like, high, I'm a high standard guy. I like I like a a, a woman that pro, that proclaims her religion, discipline in her religion. What kind I of religion? Uh, Christianity. I prefer. So you, you want a woman that is disciplined in Christianity? Yes. So you want that, that believes that that really believes not no convenient Christian. You want a one that really believes not a convenient Christian. Yeah. Yeah, that's important to me. So you want a woman that's going to wait to marriage for sex? Now, don't make me cut up on her now with you, Kendra. You don't know. Come on now. What you mean? Bruh. Come on now. You said out your mouth you want a disciplined Christian woman, one that does not play with it. That is one of the Christianity rules. So she got to be disciplined, but not in that area? 
Okay, I'm 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 gonna say she needs to be at least a, a firm believer, and not just like whenever she want things or something like that. You, but a firm you know believer I'm, is probably going to be a celibate woman to marriage, so you don't like that Christian rule. I believe I'm gonna leave that open. No, seriously, mom. Man. <laughs> so just that you want some of the Christian values, but not all of them. That would yeah, be accurate yeah. to say. I, I I I can I can roll with it. So you want her to be disciplined in the areas that you feel are important, right? I Who did the young people pick as their leader? NBA young boy. Ooh, give me gas. Talking about that little boy. I like I like I like a woman to know how to sit down and talk to a man. Don't have a, uh, this able to have a sit down. No shut down, no shut out. That's a simple rule I have, you know, under my law. And I'm going to say my law because I'm a, I'm a man. I plan on being the head. So I'm going to let that know. That's the law around here. The the husband comes first, then the kids. God no. comes first. The husband comes before that. I'm a covenant. She answered me. And she, God she, is my covenant. So he covered both of us. Does your woman have to look a certain way? Um. Yeah, I mean, she needs at least be a, about a silver, you know. About a what? At least about a silver. You got a real to be a silver, seven. Not, not just calling a silver, you know. She know that she at least a silver my eight. She look decent because, man, I'm, I'm a nice looking guy, man. What what, like? What's your number? What's your number? I don't know. It depends on what you think of me. No, what is the number you, you would give yourself? Uh, I get sometimes it depends. I get an eight most of the time, about an average of an eight. A nine. Nah, that ain't it, y'all. You know, uh, eight, nine. Let's do the Kendrick can get out the car so we can see this full body. Yeah, that brother there is ready to be a pastor in America. I'm telling you, but what kind of values he's spending and what he needs his woman to be when he says he's looking for a Christian woman and how he wants to work the will of God. Yeah, I could see him with a church in like four or five years. I could see it. Hey, so let's go and get with the next video. And this one here is just um ridiculous. So don't miss this one. Just check it out, and I'll be right back. Let's just get to it. What kind of man are you looking for? <sighs> a man that knows what he wants. Um, of course, I said I'm a Virgo, and Virgos um to me are um very lovable, and they love hard. Y'all love real so, hard. Yes. So whenever I meet somebody and date them, they're just not for me. I feel like I'm building a bear. And I'm tired of building a bear. I'm I'm all out of that. So mm -hmm. he wants to uh, be pre-built. You don't have to look a certain way. Your new boo. I, I don't want him to I don't want him to be uh unattractive. Okay. <laughs> I'm not saying I want a pretty boy, but I, I, I'm beautiful. I might not be the prettiest woman in the world, but I'm very, you know what I'm saying, on that level for me. So I want him to... What's uh, that level for you that you're on? A vibe, baby. That's an knee slapper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I am, look, I am a, a, I'm a big girl, but I'm fine. And can't nobody tell me nothing different. Big fine. I want a guy who, you know, who so feels he has like, to be tall, short, he uh, skinny, uh, hefty. I don't want him too tall because uh, I am four, four eleven and a quarter. You're seriously, mom. Man. <laughs> four oh, eleven. <laughs> huh? You're four eleven. I'm four eleven and a quarter. Yes. Shorty, big fat. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were so much taller. So, yeah. Like I don't want him too tall where I have to just completely look up to him. Man, bone up. Girl, you look good. Won't you back it up? Put my shirt up because I had on the belly top, girl. Good. I'm gonna get the titties out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> what that is? Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, girl. Okay, kids, we can. We see you, boo. Yes, this is what you get. I'm beautiful and I'm proud. I love it. So why do you think you're single? If you vibing? Because these guys are not. They not stepping up. What are the top three, three, three things you think a man wants in a woman? Uh, top three. <laughs> they should want confident, driven, and 
beautiful. Okay, you got one out of three right. Top three beautiful is first. Fit, feminine, and submissive, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, that's a problem. Because if you're not being submissive to me, I'm not doing the same Woo. for you. I love that. Why would a guy be lucky to uh yeah. why would a person be lucky to be with you? Because I'm a vibe. It is just look like mom. When they take them wigs off, they should be looking just like this. Girl, aren't that much vibe in the world? Give us some real it is, I promise I got Virgo vibes and it's Virgo. all over me. They are bossy and uh, and, uh, no, and no. They, they try to control everything. So that might be No, that's we that's have cool. to have the last and day. And that's I think probably that's a right. problem for men. You can't have the last day if you want a man. Me and lead. But they want to. Me and lead. Yeah. So they're not going to be with no woman who thinks she's the boss. And that's just fine. You can ask any man to leave. Sort of beside me. I don't want to be behind him. No, it's not that. It's man lead. And you have to listen they, to men when we're talking about this. Yeah, so you but can't they listen have to, to give, women. Give me reason. They, they, got, they have to give me reason to let them be the lead. I feel like it's worth the com It's If I feel like it's worth the compromise, then I'll go for it. That's. That's just me. That might and be I'm not one of your flaws like, that you're not but, taking accountability for. Even I, I definitely would take you. If I feel like I'm wrong about something, I definitely will say it. Yeah. I'm not, I don't have a problem, but it's just the thing that a lot of times I'm right. Girl, yes. You coming in looking like Nino Brown with it? Wait seven seconds. Let us. Man, the dude sitting up in his house. It's like one in the morning with a robe on. Necklaces, rings, them deep in his voice and talking all that craziness. And no, I bet, I bet he got a lot of hits on that. Because people like, dude, they, these women, they like to see things. They like to see stuff. Not reading through the line like that makes no freaking sense. And he's probably did that every night till he got picked. Freaking weird, though. Freaking weird. Yeah, weird. No, what kind of woman you looking for? So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Feminine, fit, friendly, submissive. You know what I'm saying? Got them. You know, she all about respect. I'm about, I'm big on respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, she ain't got to have no money or nothing like that. She ain't got to be working. She, she can work for all daddy. You know what I'm saying? And she got to look good, though, of course. You know what I'm saying? At least a 7.3 in the face. You know what I'm saying? How she got to look? Okay. Fit. You know what I'm saying? Sexy legs, pretty feet. Pretty feet is a must. You know what I'm saying? I don't play about that. That's real. She got to be able to cook and clean, though. I forgot to mention that. A lot of modern women, man, like, I guarantee you, majority of women feel some type of way about a lot of things that I just said to you tonight. You know what I'm saying? Like, saying that she ain't got to make no money and all that. A lot of chicks these days, they don't, they, they not trying to hear that. They feel like they got to make money. They got to make as much money as you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm all about putting my woman in position to bask in her femininity, you know what I'm saying? If she working just as many hours as me, let's just say getting as much as money as me and all that, she gonna be expecting me to cook and clean too. I ain't doing that shit. Fuck I look like. Seriously, ma! <laughs> That's why I put my myself in position to goddamn get money, you know what I'm saying? I shouldn't have to cook and clean. That's my woman's job. Exactly. That's what the real. fuck he look like? Washing the dish. Oh, you want him to wash? You 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 want him to wash a motherfucking dish? What you talking about? What what are you air fry? You want me to put some food in the air? What the fuck you? You saw he said what? I got air fry. Fuck he, huh? yeah. it's my personal bottle though. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm currently looking for a female roommate too. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, a, a female I don't roommate. No dudes. Wait, you want a roommate that you would have sex with, or a roommate Man. with no sexual relation? She gonna be my roommate first, and eventually she gonna be my girl. It take time for titles. You know what I'm saying? If you have a child, you don't have a limit on children, but he just has to be able to discipline your kids. Right? Now you know damn well. So you, you you think I'm about to let goddamn three hooligans walk up in my shit.
Come on. That's a knee slapper. Look <laughs> <laughs> <Ugly>. like. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> hey, I bet you, I bet you one thing. I bet you he won't walk out in the rain with them necklaces and stuff on. <laughs> I bet you he won't. Whole neck and chest be green up <laughs> by the end of the day. <laughs> Hey man, but I want to thank you guys for coming through and watching those um, videos with me and I hope you enjoyed them And I hope you got some good laughs off that because I'm bringing you guys more of those videos because I'm um, I get some good laughs off that so I don't thank you guys for joining and watching boss talk 843 reacts and I want to thank you guys for coming through and spending time with me So I want you guys to like subscribe and hit that ding ding bell button for your boy so you get all the notifications when i drop new videos and i'll see you guys next video all right i'm a fat boy in the club i make it rain goose in my good pie good do my damn thing now watch me too still now watch me superman